After the dramatic descent at Huco, the Yellow River regains its tranquility and heads downstream towards Longman. In Shanxi Province's Heijin City, the water at Longman narrows to about 60 meters in width. The Yellow River flows between mountains on both sides, surging from Shimen at upstream through the Longman Gorge at Yumenko. This four kilometer long gorge is named after the Longman Mountains. The gorge is a landmark on the Yellow River. Entry into the gorge means that the Yellow River has finished its journey through the Jinsan Valley. The gorge separates two distinctive landforms. Upstream is the sheer cliffs and the dashing waters of the Jinshan Valley. Downstream is the broad and tranquil Yellow River shallows and wetlands. The unique geographical location has made the gorge different from others. As the river boats travel in the river, modeled patterns left on tall cliffs on both sides reveal the everlasting stories of the river. These rusty iron hoops embedded on the cliffs are the marks left by barge haulers from the Ming Dynasty when human muscles had to contend against the flow of the river. In the middle section of the gorge, a steep cliff wall is known as Big Stair Cliff, and it has kept the marks from 1600 years ago during the reign of Emperor Xiao Wen of 360 hand-carved stone steps. The winding path carved on Longman cliffs spirals from top to bottom. For centuries, it has served as the passageway to reach the ferry on the Yellow River. The river forges ahead relentlessly without hesitation reaching the less than 40 meter wide Yumenko, the Yellow River bids farewell to the Jinshan Valley and sees a sudden broadening. Flowing on a 10 kilometer wide riverbed, here the mighty river slows down and thrusts toward its banks. Shaping them into lowest tablelands, flat plains, lowest columns, and other geological landforms. The sandstone cliffs here are multi-layered after years of sedimentation. This results in varying water volumes of the Yellow River in different eras. The presence of sand martens has brought vitality to these silent cliffs. They flock here to build nests. For these frail birds, living in groups ensures security. When they settle here, the birds find abundant food and safe homes near the Yellow River. The Yellow River continues its journey as the riverbed widens, the gentle water strokes and nourishes the lands on both sides. The sprawling wetlands have created important ecological barriers at the banks, as well as homes for many bird species. The Yellow River, Mother River of China, has nurtured the ancient culture in this area. It continues to be a source of joy for the locals.